Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Vivo Next 3 5G. Now this phone is available right now in China for 800 bucks. But if you live in the States and you want this one, the cheapest place that I found it for was on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price, 988 bucks. Now I know what y'all getting ready to say, that price is TGH, but you gotta remember, whenever you're getting phones imported, you're gonna spend a little bit more. Not to mention, folks out here spending a thousand bucks for a Pixel, so it is what it is. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this is a GSM only phone. So if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you asked out. Comes in two different colors. You got black and silver. For the display, you got a 6.89 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2256. Now that's 363 for the PPI Patrol. Now this phone features the waterfall full view display. So that's gonna give you a 99.6% screen to body ratio. This phone has no bezels. You also got HDR10. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus with the Adreno 640 GPU. What does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now it's running Android 9 VIP with the FunTouch 9.1 OS skin on top. You got 8 or 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, and no micro SD card slot for expandable memory, but it does feature dual SIM slots. For the battery, you got a 4500 milliamp battery that features 44 watt fast charge. Now Vivo claims you can charge your phone from zero to 65% in 30 minutes. That's pretty sick. For the cameras on the rear, you got the lunar ring setup. So that's a triple camera, 64 megapixel wide angle, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a 13 megapixel telephoto lens. On the front, you got the pop-up selfie camera, that's 16 megapixels, and it has a front facing flash. Now you also get an on-screen fingerprint sensor. You got dual Wi-Fi. I will right, we'll talk about that in a minute. Bluetooth 5.0. You got the vapor chamber cooling system. So this is gonna be great for gaming. You got hi-fi audio. It's 5G capable. And the phone has a headphone jack. So all of that for 988 bucks, what's missing? No wireless charge. The phone is not IP rated, so it's not water resistant. And two things that we gotta check. Now I'm not sure if it has face unlock or dual speakers. So let's find out. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. I white shoes, white shoes. calm down. All right, here we go. Vivo Next 3 5G. The G stands for gangster. On the front, there's your lunar camera. I right, the lunar ring, triple camera setup. It's pretty sick. Let's see, inside, okay. So this is gonna be your device. 44 watt fast charging brick included in the box. I like that. You got some Vivo headphones. Now let's see the quality on these. Only thing I check for is inline controls and they're on deck. All right, so nice quality headphones. Let's see anything else. Okay, now you get a case. Has a nice kind of leatherish feel to it. Real nice. Well, you got your usual books and shit. Pluck them, file them to the side, there's your SIM ejection tool. And this is gonna be your USB Type-C charging cable. And that's pretty much it. All right, shoes, do your thing. All right, so now for the phone itself, I'll save the smell test. <laughs> I'm gonna save the smell test for later so we don't scare shoes off. Ooh, look at this one though. Oh, this is beautiful. Now in the back, it looks like a screen protector. Yeah, there's a little screen protector on the back. Let's uh, get that off. Look at this. Now this silver color is dope. On the front, here's your waterfall display. Now check this out. No buttons on this. Let's hold this side. <laughs> Let's hold it. Let me see, how do we turn this? All right, there's a touch capacitive button on the side. If you notice, it has a little bit of ridges. But I'm gonna show you what the waterfall full display is. All right, shoes, shoes you trolling. All right, now that shoes bounce. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one smells futuristic. Right. I'm loving this one right here. Look at this, yo. Ooh, look at that shine. Let's get a little wipe down. Look at that shine. All right, so waterfall display. So what does that mean? Basically a curved display. But this one actually curves a lot. Now you see it curved all the way around the sides. It actually curves so much that there's no buttons on the side. So if you look closely on the screen, you see the plus and minus. 
Let's see. Let's see how. I can, let's open this up. Oh, that was a fast boot up. Okay, look. Now, if you want to press your volume up, you're basically pressing the screen. But it has a little vibration, a little haptic feedback to it. So you know that you actually touched it. Okay, I'm going to have to get used to that. Look closely on the bottom. You see a minus. So that's going to be your volume down. Okay, I did a little screenshot. All right, so this is, um, this is power and volume down together. All right, let's, hold, let's open this up. Yeah, this is going to take a minute to get used to. Look closely, though. You see that plus and the minus? No actual buttons. On the top, you do have a button right here. Now, this is going to turn your display on and off. Okay, now that's kind of a weird place to put the button on the top. But it is what it is. You got your pop-up selfie camera. We'll check that out in a second. Headphone jack. All right, now, shout out to everybody that keeps saying the headphone jack is dead. The headphone jack is dead. What you call that? All right, y'all see that right there? What you call that? Headphone jack Apple. Headphone jack Samsung. Headphone jack Google. Pay attention, all right? We need the headphone jack on deck. Shout out to Vivo for keeping it alive. All right, so now I'm going to have to put this in English. We'll have to uh, play with all the settings in a minute. Let's see if we can open up this uh, front-facing camera real quick. Just so I can see what it looks like. Ooh, okay. You heard that sound? That's what I'm talking about. And if you look closely, there's an actual flash there. So it's not just the 16 megapixel camera. There's a flash. All right, so when you're taking your selfies in the middle of the night, you're good to go. All right, so let me uh, pause the video. I'll set up all my information in. We'll try to see if we can switch this over to English and walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up, and I got to be honest with y'all, this phone is definitely not for everybody. Now, if you're used to having stock Android and a basic Android experience, this is going to be a huge learning curve. Now, look, y'all know I'm all about features and gimmicks, but damn, this phone takes it to the next level. And let me show you what I'm talking about. First things first, build quality. Now, y'all know I got to say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Has a nice premium feel to it. Definitely a little on the heavy side. I love that gradient pattern on the back. It'll definitely blind you. Looks beautiful. Camera's nice and flush. Headphone jack on deck. Build quality is excellent. Not to mention, you got the waterfall display. 99.6% screen to body ratio. This is what you call a bezel-less display. No bezels on the top, no bezels on the bottom, and you got the curved display. Now, a lot of people don't like curved displays for one reason, and let me show you what that is. When you're holding your phone like this and you got a curved display, if you ever notice, sometimes this finger is touching the side of the display, and your palm is touching the display. So you'll go to swipe the phone and it won't do anything. That's because your finger or your palm is touching the phone. Well, this phone has palm rejection. So that's pretty sick. So you see, if you notice, I'm touching the display on this side and squeezing it on this side and still able to swipe. So that's a good look right there. Now there's no power button. All right, no buttons actually at all on the side. You're gonna have to get used to these virtual buttons that have a nice heptic feel to it. But like I said, it's a learning curve. You're just going to have to get used to touching the side and really not having a button, even though it has a little bit of ridges. So you know where to place your finger at. You'll get used to it, though. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open up the phone. You can swipe up, put in your pattern in your pen. You got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works super fast. I right, no problems with that. And you got face unlock. Now, here's the downside about face unlock. In order to use it, you got to do three wrong fingerprints. So, look, I'm going to use my regular fingerprint, and it opened up. Now, I never set up my first finger. There's one wrong input, two wrong input, three wrong inputs. Then it opened up face unlock. Now, I've been going through the settings and trying to play with it. You can't have either or. Uh, you can't have it just go directly to face unlock. You're going to have to do three wrong attempts. So, it's called face unlock assistant. So basically what it's doing is assisting you if you get three wrong fingerprints. Let's do that again. All right, well, <laughs> hold up. It's trolling me. All right, let me try that one more time. All right, one, two, three. Now the face unlock 
does work super fast. I you seen that pop-up camera? That sound is dope. I love that. I love that. But like I said, this phone just has a huge learning curve. Now, if you talk about bloatware, this phone came pre-installed with about a thousand apps. All right? It was in Chinese. It took me forever to get it, <laughs> switch it over to English, but I got it done. You notice you do have the Google Play Store. Now, let me show you some other stuff. Now, normally you swipe down from the top. There's your toggles. But this is when you swipe down on the top on this one, it's going to bring you to your notifications. If you want your toggles, you got to swipe up from the bottom. All right, so let's go uh, max brightness. Does get pretty bright. Max volume. You got your recently used apps. Let's go through some of the toggles. Let's see, you got vibration mode. You got screen capture, speed up. All right, you can put high performance mode. You got ultra gaming mode. Keep in mind, this has the liquid, uh, liquid cooling system. And it also has the Snapdragon 855 Plus. So this is basically somewhat of a gaming phone. Why not? Split screen multitasking. Silent mode, power saving mode. Take it over to settings. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all know I'm all about features and gimmicks, but it'll take all day to go through all of these, and I'm not even going to try them. But we'll just go through some of the basics real quick. Let's see. Let's go to our status bar notification. Uh, you can change all these up if you want. Now, if you want to go back, you can swipe there or swipe from the side for back. System navigation. You can have your swipe gestures, or if you want, you can have your old school Android buttons. You got Jovi. I right, play with all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's see, ultra gaming mode. Okay, let's exit out of that. Sound of vibration. Now, here's another thing. No dual speakers. And the speaker on this one ain't that great. I'm just keeping it real. The speaker's not that good. I'll show y'all in a minute. This phone has a thousand and one settings though. All right, you got to always on display. All right, let me turn that on. I didn't even check that. All right, so we got always on display, a bunch of different display settings. Okay, that's applied. You got your themes and wallpapers. Okay, no reason to go through those fingerprints and passwords. You got smart lock, blah, blah, blah. Go to more settings. Now you do have NFC. You got your VPNs, your private DNS. I got it on dark mode right now. All your accessibility settings. Go to smart motions. All right, so you got smart awake, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to, uh, you got smart mirroring, split screen, one-handed mode. A thousand and basically what I'm trying to say is a thousand and one settings on this phone. I had too many settings to really go through all of them, but all your basic settings on steroids. I right, so put it like that. All your basic settings that you have on any Android phone. Just imagine that times two. All right. Everything you could change in this, all the fonts, the widgets go crazy. All right. And if you want to swipe back, you can use the back or you can use this back. All right. So I can swipe back from the side or swipe back from the bottom. Now, let's take a look at the uh, web browsing speeds. Let's see. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to let's go to Chrome. Let me set this up real quick. All right. So here we go. Let's go to uh, let's go to Amazon. There it is. Snapdragon 855 plus no lag. Nice and smooth. Now, if I want to do split screen multitasking. We'll split this up. Let's open up YouTube on the bottom. And there it is. All right, so I got YouTube on the bottom, Amazon on the top. Kind of like a Galaxy if I want, I can swap them. Now I got YouTube on the top, Amazon on the bottom. Now let me pull up a video so y'all can see this beautiful bezel-less display and listen to the speaker. All right, so I got my usual video queued up. Here we go. Beautiful display. But this is max volume on the speaker. Now, if I cover the bottom, definitely no dual speakers, even though you got that little speaker grill on the top. They should have dropped the speaker in there. It is what it is. But check that waterfall display. Look at that. That's pretty sick. Definitely giant bezel-less display. All right, so here's how your always on display is gonna look. Standard. You can customize that if you want. You got your motion gestures. So when you lift up your phone, it'll awake the display. Use your fingerprint sensor. Bang, just like that. Now, if you wanna get to your recently used apps, swipe up. 
Got all of them on deck, and you can hit close all. Let's take it over to Instagram. That's how it's going to look. Nice scrolling speeds. And just exit out. Now let's check out the camera. Let's see the different shooter modes. All right, so you got night mode, portrait mode, regular photos. Let's see on photos. You got your two-time zoom. Let's see the max zoom. Okay, hold on. We still going. 15, 18, 20 times zoom. That's pretty sick. And let's see wide angle. Let's go all the way down. And there's your wide angle. Oh, that's dope. You got your videos. And you got more. So you got 64 megapixels, panorama, live photos, slow motion, time lapse, pro mode, AR stickers, fun video, and Jovi. All right, so let's go to settings real quick. Now for your video, video size, we got all the way up to 4K. Let's see the frame rate, 60 frames per second. That's dope. Got your AI scene selection, HDR, all your different filters. Basically everything's on deck. All right, so let's take a look at some test photos and video. So overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, the Vivo Next 3 5G is a major go. But like I said, it's not for everybody. Now, if you got a lot of patience and you don't mind the learning curve and you like curved screen displays and you want something that's different and unique for the let me see that factor, then you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. But for me, the downside is the price. Now, if I lived in China and I could find this for 750 to 800 bucks, okay, cool. But to import this one and spend 988 bucks, that's a no for me, dog. Let me tell you everything that I don't like. Number one, no wireless charge. Number two, no expandable memory. Number three, no IP rating so the phone is not water resistant. Number four, face unlock. Now, I don't like the fact that you got to do three wrong attempts with your fingerprint in order to activate the face unlock. They should have made it where you just swipe up and it brings you directly to your face unlock. You got that nice pop-up selfie camera. Why not be able to enjoy it more frequently? And my last biggest gripe 
is no dual speakers. That one single speaker on the bottom doesn't sound that great. But if you buy this phone, here's the upside. The build quality is A1. The display is beautiful. I, I love that beautiful bezel-less display. You got palm rejection. So even if you don't like curved screen displays, you're not gonna have a problem. You got the latest processor and GPU, plenty of RAM, plenty of storage. You got a big giant 4,500 milliamp battery with 44 watt fast charging, zero to 65% in 30 minutes. That's insane. The camera's pretty good. You got a headphone jack, always on display. Fingerprint sensor, face unlock. That works, you know, in tandem. You got hi-fi audio and dual Wi-Fi. Not to mention, this is a gaming phone. All right, you got the vapor cooling system and the Snapdragon 855 Plus. It's gonna handle all your games. That's the upside. So you're gonna have to be the judge for yourself. All right, let me drop the case on so you can see what it looks like. The case is pretty nice. And again, this phone just has the let me see that factor. All right, shout out to Vivo. That's one thing I will say. Y'all remember this phone? Bang. Bang. This phone, my Nubia Z20 and my Galaxy Fold, this has the highest let me see that factor out of all of my phones. All right, so shout out to Vivo. I like when companies push the envelope, give us something different. It doesn't always pan out, but it does look <laughs> different and unique, and it has that let me see that factor. Let me show you that camera one more time. Look at that. They should have made that face unlock work all of the time. Let me bring it back one more time. Hold up, here we go. That computer sound, different and unique. All right, that's the key, different and unique. Sometimes you wanna be different. Anyway, Vivo, next three, 5G. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. And that's one more thing I forgot to mention, the 5G, all right? If you live in a 5G neighborhood, you're gonna want a phone that has 5G capabilities. And this is one of them. We out. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Captain, Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>